All right, so welcome back to Masculine. As we were just saying, the Amherst Winterfest is coming up in less than two weeks. But the big question, Ash, is your cardboard box ready? Not yet. Okay. It's not ready to Mine's rock yet. Either. But joining us to tell you about the cardboard classic are Chris Baxter and Yusef Adel. And, of course, their kids. We've got Sarah, Elsa, and Christian here. Great to have everybody. And Flaky and the Snowman. And a large snowman. There's Flaky the Snowman. Yes, we can't forget about Flaky. She's doing her thing. Good to have you guys. The cardboard classic sled race. Now, this is something I've never heard of before. Tell us what it's all about. It's just a contest to design a box and race down a dual course. And it's a popularity contest to see who has the best design in the fastest box. So it's a cardboard, a sled made out of a cardboard box right. that That's you actually right. go down a snowy hill. This sounds right. amazing. It sounds okay. dangerous. Sounds like I well, no, it sounds like it's <laughs> safe for everybody else. I would break my neck doing it. <laughs> well, there's kids. I'm sure it's totally That's fine, true, right? That's true. Yeah. Now we, let's talk about Chris. This is your sled with your daughters. You made this, right? Tell yes, it is. Tell us about this sled here. Um, I designed this with my daughters. We picked the design out. This is the fourth time that we've built a sled, so we decided to do a <laughs> castle design because it. it's, it's easy to do something square, you know. Uh, our, our main concern was making something that might not tip over sideways because in the past the we concerns. had something too <laughs> narrow. Well, that's the nice thing about the cardboard is that it, you know, it's soft, so if you fall over, yeah. you're all set. So, you know, we got, uh, I just went to the local building supply store mm -hmm. and they donated um, Coles Lumber and Amherst donated some cardboard for us. It's just recycling, you know, so you're reusing the materials. And then we paint the design on it and, and take it. I love it, it, including a drawbridge. This is amazing. Girls, are you so proud of your castle? Oh my goodness, I think it's so cool. And you know what and I love about this event too? It gets people out of the house, off the computers, off the TV, and doing things and meeting other together. people. That's why everybody should come on down to the Winterfest. I agree, I totally agree. Now, Yusef, your sled is a work in progress. That's right. You're working on it. Christian's right. hiding in there. working on it. Christian's testing it out right now. Yeah. Uh, it's it's, it's going to end up as a dragon when we're done. <laughs> okay, so right. hey, you got to go to Winterfest to see the, the dragon right, sled, you know. right? And we is it too late for people to enter the oh, contest? Oh, no, no. You can, come, you can make your sled, bring it that day. The, the sled race is at 4.15. The, the event goes from 1, to 6, 1 to 6.30, uh, but the, this race is at 4.15. So show up, just we'll sign you up, and then we'll pair you with a similar type sled, and then we'll have you come down the, the slope at the same time. I wanted to give you a tip, though. You need a lot of this packing tape okay. <laughs> because when the cardboard gets wet, it starts to fall apart. So oh, if you yeah. put a lot of this clear tape on there You'll be good for to anybody go. who wants to make a box. That's right. Okay, you know, that's so. a really good tip there, Chris. Yeah. Thanks. Thank we'll have all the information on our website. If people want to enter the contest, they can still make their sled. Yay, Winterfest, and right? Flaky. Yeah. And Flaky. And you can find <laughs> out more about Amherst Winterfest by logging on to MyMassAppeal.com later today. And you can also find them on Facebook. Just search for Winterfest Amherst. Coming up on